In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the rand array function in Google Sheets. What this function does is it will generate a random array of numbers between 0 and 1, and the size of the generated array depends on the number of rows and columns that you place within the arguments of the function. So this is the syntax here. The only two arguments are the number of rows that you want to return and the number of columns that you want to return. And now both of these arguments are optional, and if you leave them out, it will only return a random number in one cell. So I'll just show you how this looks over here. So random array, and I will just leave the arguments out at first. So it's just going to return in one cell a random number between 0 and 1. Now if I want to do a, an array, let's do a two-row, two-column array or I want to do a two row five column array, or let's say a five row three column array. So that is using the basic function. Again, it just returns a random array of numbers between zero and one, and the size of the array depends on your arguments for rows and columns that you put within the function. Now you can also do some other things with this function. So by default, the return values are going to be between 0 and 1, but you can combine it with array formula and do some multiplication if you want to return greater values. So I'm going to edit this formula to return values between 0 and 100. And how I would do that is first I would do an array formula, array formula, and then I can multiply this by 100. And that is going to return values between 0 and 100 instead of between 0 and 1. Now, you can round these up if you want to do whole numbers instead of having the decimal places. That is an option. Um, there's other ways you can use this function too um, as you begin to combine it with other things. I just wanted to show the basics in this video, so if you've never used the rand array function, uh, this video should hopefully be useful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.